Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun DIY video for you all. I'm showing you three ways to decorate pine cones from your plain old pine cones and then using them to make a centerpiece. So we're going to jump right into the first idea. So first you want to gather your supplies. I am using these large pine cones, which are actually scented pine cones. They're cinnamon scented. It is absolutely amazing. And you're going to want to grab some white paint. This could be white glitter paint or regular white paint like I'm using. A paintbrush and then something to paint on. I'm using my Ranger craft mat, which is water resistant. And I'm just going to paint all of the little edges so it looks like a freshly picked pine cone off of a tree that has just had a light snowfall. Honestly, this is the cutest way to make pine cones look less like just a pine cone. I know they sell them in the stores like this, but I often find that they're a little bit more expensive. So this DIY is great if you're on a budget. Plus paint's super inexpensive. And even if you wanted, you could do like some gold um, on the edges as well to so get a metallic feel. But we'll jump into some more metallics in the next DIY. This next one is super fun because you get to add a lot of metallic for very little work. Essentially, I painted this pine cone lightly with white paint as I did in the last DIY, but now I'm sprinkling on some glitter embossing powder, which requires a heat gun to set. So if you don't have a heat gun, this might not be the DIY for you. But for all of my paper crafters, we have embossing powder and heat guns at the ready. So I sprinkled on some silver embossing powder. This one's by Ranger. And now I'm going to put silver embossing powder away and get to heat gunning on it. So once you set it, it will look beautifully shiny. So right now it looks glittery, but it can still come off. So we wanna heat set it to prevent it from coming off. Now the heat gun we have to be very careful with. When using a heat gun, it gets very hot. And since this is a wood product, faux pine cones are wood products, you wanna make sure that you're not setting it on fire or burning it or any of that. So definitely be careful when using your heat gun for this DIY. Since my pine cone's so small and I didn't have tweezers long enough, I decided to use the end of my paintbrush to hold my pine cone in place once my heat gun was heated up hot enough. It doesn't need a lot of heat to set it, but things like a hair dryer have too much air blowing out and not enough heat, so it will not work as effectively as a heat gun as I'm doing here. Once it is all set and cool, you end up with a beautiful sparkly pine cone. This last pine cone DIY definitely takes a lot more effort, but it's definitely worth it. So I'm starting off with a painted pine cone that I did earlier, and now I'm going to add some glue. This is a wet adhesive using my fine line bottle. The glue that I'm using is called Scotch Quick Dry. It is a white glue that will dry clear. You can use Elmer's glue, whatever you have. Essentially, I'm going to pipe on a little bit on the edges. And while this DIY takes a lot more work, I think it looks more natural and more beautiful and it catches the light. You'll see. So you want to take the glue and put it on a couple of the petals at a time. And so I'm just doing random petals to start with because I wanted to be able to get as much done as possible. And once you have some glue on, you want to make sure you have your snow ready. So I'm using this fake snow called Buffalo Snow. It is beautiful, speckled, um, plasticky snow. You'll see in a second. It's like a confetti but snow version. Essentially, you'll want to sprinkle this snow onto your glue spots. So I started with a couple petals, and now I'm sprinkling over those petals, but you also might need to press it in, depending on the glue you're using and how big the snowflakes you picked out are. So I'm going to do this for the entire pine cone, and I will say it does get a little bit messy, so I have multiple layers of some scrap paper so I can pick up the snow more easily. You might want to keep a vacuum nearby because this stuff's very easy to blow around accidentally but it's definitely very beautiful as you can see. And you'll see in the close-up shots some of the sparkle that it gives when it hits the sunlight. We are wrapping up this pine cone DIY by putting together a fun centerpiece using our pine cones. There are several variations of this. I'm using some twine and this adorable little it's four candles, a little votive, but I'm using it for my pine cone decoration. I'm just going to tie a little bit of this red and white twine that I purchased at Michael's around my votive here. And although my pine cone, my larger pine cones don't fit 
fully into this. I think it looks cute like a little uh, succulent at the top. But you could also fill this with a bunch of smaller pine cones or a combination piece. I tied mine in a little bow and then I decided I wanted to add even a bigger bow. So what I did was I took my burlap bows that I have, which I purchased at Michael's. They're beautiful burlap bows with gold speckle in the middle. And I'm going to attach one of those to the middle of the bow here. So I'm covering the smaller bow with a larger bow. Then you place your beautifully DIY pine cones inside. I particularly love the extra snow one, so on the flakes of snow, but it's totally up to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. I have more information about this DIY over on my blog. It'll be linked down below. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I would love for you guys to see all of my Christmas DIY videos this year. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!